What's up everyone, Wetsword here, and I know this video is insanely late, but, <clears throat> um, I was waiting until I could get this one figure, but I can't get it, so we're just going to ignore it. If you watch the Stormtrooper review, you, for shorter Stormtrooper review, I think you know what it means, but this is my top 10 favorite action figures of 2017, and by the way, I don't know, because there's a lot of Halo figures on here, I don't know if they were released in um, 2017, the only time, I got them all in 2017, I don't know if they came out in 2016 at the end or not, but I'm going to count it 2017, because I got all of them, and I like them all, and I only started seeing them in stores in 2017, so yeah. So, um, I forgot to get an honorable mention, but, hold on, I forgot, I was going to do honorable mentions, but I kind of forgot, I'm a mess today, but hold on, I gotta go find where I put the honorable mentions. So yeah, the first of four honorable mentions is <coughs> the Vulture, and my god. This light is positioned so terribly. Just did it. But yeah, I like this Vulture figure. I think it's okay. I wish it had better articulation. And I did really like it. It's just there was other Spider-Man figures that were, were released that I liked more. I just realized I can't find the homemade suit. See underneath there? Oh. Yeah, actually, there's five honorable mentions. So, yeah, I like this dude a lot. Um, sorry, I'm a mess, but, yeah, this is the homemade suit Spider-Man. I love it a lot. He just can't stand. I don't know what it is. Do you see these feet? You think they would stand? They don't. Next, now, let's get to the expensive ones. The other honorable mention is Ares, the God of War from Marvel. The Thor Ragnarok Wave Hulk Gladiator Hulk build a figure. He almost made it on the list. It's just. There's a lot more figures I like better than him. My favorite part about him are these legs. And you'll see. This is the one that I'm doing for the Marvel Legends Monday. Ugh, next week. So, yeah. By the way, I'm off Monday and Tuesdays, which is awesome. But, yeah. Now let's get to figures I love so much but it's just they had flaws on them the air assault trooper air assault trooper oh my gosh i've got i've been like playing with my clone troopers a lot and i keep wanting to say trooper but the air assault armor from the halo line i love this armor i love this figure it's just, I don't know about it there's just a couple more there's just an armor i loved way better and then this, but I still really like it. It's really nice. And, you know, his, his, like, I don't remember which, yeah, his arms kind of hindered a little bit. And that's what you should expect. And his feet. His feet are the ones I have the most problem with. Look at these shoes. I'm glad they fixed the feet problem, because problem, I had it with him. And finally, I wanted to put him in so much, but the other one of him was just way better. It's these elite zealot from the Halo line. I wanted to put this guy on the list. When I saw him, I thought he was amazing. But it's this helmet keeping him from being on the list. And the other one is just way better. So yeah, that's... Do you like, love this figure a lot? You can see where I put Sticky Tack to hold the helmet down. It's funny, it's f sad because I love this design of the figure. But yeah. There would be other figures, like, I w was dying to put my boy, Brownie, I named him because he legit looks like a brownie, sometimes I want to bite him whenever I want a brownie, but he's, like, really old, and I wanted to put this figure, which is Palmer, I don't act like it, I don't play, I don't, 
Act like I act like it's not polymer. Because number one, I don't like polymer. I just like this scout armor. Plus, it's a boy. They use a boy mold. So I just act like it's, I don't know, friend to brownie. This dude I got a long time ago. But yeah, and I wanted to put this Black Panther figure. But I got it in 2018. So yeah. Now I'm basing this off of action figures that I love. A lot. I'm not basing this off of like collectibles and stuff. Because there would be a lot of Funko stuff on here. But yeah. Number 10. <laughs> I'm so retarded. Is Shocker from the Spider-Man Homecoming Wave. This was I think. One, I don't know. I think. Yeah. This was my. I did make a video on him. Which has a whopping zero views. It's not a great video either. If you want to watch it, go watch it. But I love this figure. I love this sculpt. I love this design. Too bad it wasn't in the movie. Only just the only bad thing is the articulation. It's five POA. But I mean, for seven dollars, being five and a half inches tall for a five POA figure, it's pretty dang delicious. So I think that the Star Wars five POA costs like ten dollars. There's three and three quarter inch. Inch. But yeah, getting him out of the way, I love this figure a lot. Question though, what is this hole for? Why does he have a hole there? I don't know. I, if you know, answer it, put it in the comments below. But next, number nine. Hold on. That was ten. Now this is nine. We have the Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man regular suit. You've watched... If you watch my unboxing of it, you know how much I wanted this figure. And you, then you should know how much I love this figure. Because this was the one I was stuck with most of the time. This, this dude. I mean, I like it. It's just the articulation sucks. And I wanted a better one, more articulated. And this is the... And I love this dude so much. I love the shade of red. And the Marvel Legends one would probably be on here, but I don't have it. Why did I say it like that? But yeah, that's number nine spot. I love it. Okay. Next, number eight. Yeah, eight. We are bringing in... Hold on. I have to count. Okay, I didn't put 11. I thought I put 11, but nope, I put 10. Next for number eight is the Master Chief. I love this figure. Despite the one problem with him, the this leg is like pulled down, the joints messed up, because of course it is. As you can see, it's down there, but on this leg, it's all the way up, so he, he, he leans sometimes, but I just love this figure. It looks so nice. As you can see, his knee is bent, and he's standing perfectly straight. I just love this figure a lot. He, I lost his assault rifle, sadly, but he did come with an energy sword and a hand that can't hold it. I think they fixed the problem with the um other figure that you'll see on this list, but yeah. Well, I'm not including any of their weapons. I don't know. But yeah. I love this figure. Figure. Yeah, I love how you can remove the armor because cause, cause sometimes whenever you have just sculpted armor on, it, it just looks sculpted. But when you put the armor on, it actually looks like he wearing armor because he is wearing armor. And his, his feet problem isn't a problem on my figure. It doesn't bother me as much. And I just love this figure a lot. Oh, it's dark. I remember when I made videos like this and then I just upped the brightness on my thing before I got a light. Oh, I'm so glad I got this light. This is my favorite thing of 2017 is the light. I can do this, and then this, this, and this. Oh, this and this. Okay, one well, this time. This and this. I'm sorry. I've done it a lot. But yeah, you can take off all the armor except for his helmet. Then again, you, I mean, you can take the helmet off just there's no head. But no one knows what the Master Chief looks like. But yeah, I'm moving on to number... Seven, yeah, this this is seven. Seven, so I can count, is the Black Series Kylo Ren. I know I put the helmet on him. 
there's just so many things I like. They fix the problem. They give him, they give him the, a hilt. They gave him a hilt, and then it turned on lightsaber, and the lightsaber looks really nice. The cape, I mean, it isn't a problem with me. It can come off. The only complaint is that, again, another messed up joint. That's because I forced the head on, and it messed it up. But I love this figure so much. Even with the helmet, it looks amazing. I loved it without the helmet, and the other head's good, except I don't want to take this off and put the other head on. I got a blister. Okay, moving on to number six. Oh, that sound like six. I meant six. Yeah, the number. This is six. Six. Yes, yeah, six. Six. Number six is Hella from the Thor Ragnarok wave. Okay, just keep counting. I love this figure. I love her head. It looks flipping amazing. I love the green. I love the metallic green because if you didn't know, green is my favorite color. I don't think you knew that. I mean, I mentioned it in my last video when I made him. Oh, Commander Doom! I'm, I'm sorry. But yeah, I love this Hella figure. It's, um, Hella good. I'll stop. Okay, let's get to number five. The only complaint, the cape falls off. Number five is, again, from Thor Ragnarok, the man himself, Fool. My boy Hemsworth back at it again with that fresh new haircut. Just gotta move the light away just a little bit so you can see that beautiful Hemsworth face. Oh, he stands up really well. This figure's amazing, and I love it so much. It's just a beaut to have. It's my third Thor figure I own, and it's definitely the best. The other two are three and three-quarter inch. They're kind of crap, but I love this Thor, which makes me wonder why that, um, why that one series of Avengers figures didn't even have Thor. And why in Avengers Age of Ultron, they made Thor an Amazon exclusive figure. But this is amazing. He's my main man. Okay, number four. Number four. Yeah, four is the Fotis. I mean, Toys R Us exclusive Fotis Spartan armor. I love this. I love Fotis. And I love Helios Girl. And I love, like... Black and yellow together. I would have put the other Helio Skrill because I love this design. This the red more. It's just this guy has the coolest weapon in existence. Mhm. Mm you see this? This is awesome. And he has an alternative head. And the Fotis helmet looks awesome. I did outline the visor in black because, you know, it kind of bothered me. But they fixed the feet problem. And the armor feels different. It feels more sturdy. It feels like a different material. And the yellow paint's actually good. What? Usually painting yellow on black turns out messy. I know, I had to make a yellow figure. Griff, watch red versus blue, and the even um shocker had a little bit of problems with the um yellow, specifically the bend, because when he bends, it's like you can't see it, but there's like black showing. When he bends his arm, the paint cracks, and I just love this figure a lot. It's really good. Okay, I wonder if you can see the um bend in the paint now. Okay, you can kind of... Yeah, now you can. That giant crack of black. Black crack! Black crack! Okay, I'm sorry. Don't know why they painted this yellow, because it's molded in yellow. They could just paint black around it, but nope, they painted yellow. It's kind of hard to notice, and I just, I just love this figure so much. And surprisingly, he stands well for having these kind of feet. Bad news, they didn't paint the black undersuit thingy majigger 
underneath it. But honestly, this this isn't McFarland. We're not expecting high quality figures. My gosh, these guys were like fifteen dollars. This dude's twenty. Oh, the the new Master Chief looks really good. But yeah, moving on to number three. Number three. It is the. The elite that came with the ghost. Don't know the name of it, but number one, the ghost is amazing. Mm hmm. I love it. But yeah, this figure is even more amazing. And when you remove the helmet, the helmet actually stays on. Where did that come from? I don't know why I have sticky tack on his head. Don't explain. I mean, don't ask me why, but I mean, I don't know. Helmet actually stayed on really nice when I first got it. I guess I just put... I don't know why I put it on. And I love this purple. And this stays on. This is a problem I had with the other one. This would not stay on. But yeah. And it makes up for the fact that I had a Mega Bloks version of him. And he lost all of his joints except his head. Because I left it at my cousin's house. But Yeah! I love this figure a lot. He's he's really awesome. They even painted that. It's awesome. Do have to complain. There was silver markings on the other dude that aren't on him. But I mean, come on. The set with... I got this... Number one, I got this set. For $20. The amount that this dude is. I got this Elite. And this vehicle. And... Because it was discounted, but this is just thirty dollars. You and for a really good figure and a really good vehicle for only thirty dollars, when the regular figures are just oh that god that's spent are just twenty, just ten dollars more for that vehicle when it's good. That's some real nice stuff. My gosh, this video is long. Going to number two. So yeah, number two. Also, if you. Noticed I paused it because I cut, like, instead of just me putting it, uh, someone just started a bath in my house, which is what you may hear in the background, but this is number two, the first order, good god, this is Bright Executioner, now this is the one I can turn the light off for, I love this figure to death, and I just got it recently, Explains why it's so high on the list and Kylo Ren was so low. This figure's just amazing. It's everything I wanted in it. The only complaint about him doesn't even involve, doesn't even have to do with the actual figure. It's his weapon. Why is this thing so skinny? I managed to get him to hold this gun from an M soldier, which is nice. But yeah, I just love him to death. I love the sculpt. I love his articulation. I don't even really have a complaint about him. No articulation complaints. Except for the fact that the hinge on his neck doesn't work at all, but I mean, I don't really hate this figure. There's like nothing about him that I hate, and I can get him into amazing poses, and I just have so much fun with him. Acting like he's a cop and saying that's a level three violation. Lying on the ground, that's a level. Uh, no, I was like putting a blanket under instead of over. That's a level three violation. That can get you sentenced to death. <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of fun with him if you can't tell. Because this figure is amazing. Complaint. Actually, there's a bad thing about this figure. It's his feet. He doesn't like standing, as you can tell. I'm holding his feet a lot because he doesn't want to stand at all. Okay, I got to stand. Sadly, this is when I'm going to go to number one. For the number one figure, it is... Gladiator Hulk. You should have seen this coming. This is... An amazing figure is between you and me the best build a figure I own which is not saying much because these are the other two 
But yeah, look at this beefcake. He is. Look at this arm. He just. Look, you've seen my review. Actually, no one has yet. Just go check out the review of this guy. From Marvel Legends Monday. It is amazing. He can do the squats. He can squat so squatty. He's a squatty squat. And you can take a squatty squat. Why did it sound like that at the end? And he's got a phenomenal Hulk face. There's like really no complaints except for the fact that I wish his helmet stayed on better. He's even got nipples. If you watch, if you go down in all my videos and watch everything that involves Hulk, you will understand why I say nipples are important. The Mashers doesn't even have nipples. Of course, that's for kids. Oh no, Mulder! Hulk's crotch landed in your face! Just go over there. Hulk is sitting on an action figure of Mulder from X Files. I think that's the theme song. I don't know why I want to know it, I just watched a meme of it, but I mean, yeah, that, that's, of course, the best figure in existence of 2017. Okay, that's a weird pose. Okay, let's get them all lined up together. So, yeah, that's, this is everyone. All ten of my favorite figures of 2017. So, yeah, um, already got a couple figures for 20. 2018, I bet you at the end of 2018, I don't even know how many figures I'll be able to, I don't know, 2018, I'm probably going to have to exclude a lot of amazing figures, because, number one, the Black Panther figures I'm getting, every single, the um, Marvel Legends and the regular release Black Panthers figures, there's going to be probably a new Star Wars movie getting figures from... If they ever release the second wave of Halo figures, and then Avengers Infinity War. Oh, there's going to be so much merchandise from that. I'm going to get so much stuff. That's probably going to be in the end. I'll have to make, like, a top 20 list next year. But yeah, this, this, this it. This, this, this is it for this video. If you liked the video, like it. I mean, how could you like it? I mean, it's just me talking about amazing figures that if you don't have you want but yeah um these figures are amazing i would buy them if you haven't so yeah this has been my list subscribe if you haven't already i know i repeat this a lot because i keep forgetting when i say it and i want you to subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you liked this Check out some of my other videos because the Marvel Legends Monday's got zero views and it's sadly the one I wanted to get the most views. So yeah, uh-huh. Also check out his review, his review, his review, he's got a review, he's got a review. Basically everyone but the Halo figures, Halo figures. And if you want to see the Halo figures, get a review right down in the comments below. No, seriously, if you want to see me review any figure, the most likely one I'll review is him because he's the most recent. But yeah! If you want me to review the other one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want me to review all ten of them, eleven counting the bath, then write down the comments below. If you want to see a specific one reviewed, write down in the comments below. Just as much as I hate to say it, kind of like try to stay clear from the Master Chief. I lost one of his weapons, but I mean, I mean, eh, it doesn't matter, does it? I lost the AR. We yeah, have other figures I got this year. I got a f an amazing figure in 2016. Sadly, I couldn't show it. It's my boy, Duratan the Destroyer, as I like to call him. He's sitting up there. I got a bunch of those figures in 2016. There's so many figures I want to put on the list, but they weren't released. And uh, 
there's one figure specifically I wanted to put on the list, but he was released five years ago. Maybe even six. I don't really know. Is this dude? I wanted to put him on the list so bad because I love this Ultron so much. It, it didn't come out this year. Last year. I think it came out way before YouTube was and I think it came out way before I even known about YouTube. Which is kind of sad. I mean, back then I wasn't sitting in my house watching YouTube, watching cringy YouTube videos all day. That I had friends and I played outside with my friends. Times have changed. I don't have any friends. I'm just kidding. Everyone's my friend. And if you're not my friend, if you want to be my friend, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And cool news. You subscribe to me. And if I end up getting a notification that of who subscribed to me, or if I find out who you are, I'll subscribe to you back if you're interesting. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's it for this video. Um, Let's just say the dog... My awesome, amazing dog of, like, most of my life that I have here. He lost his ear a couple hundred thousand years ago. You can kind of see the stitching. Why am I putting this in? Because I'm going to do this. Of course the Stormtroopers still... Of course the one dude that can't stand is still standing. That is hilarious. Very hilarious. But yeah, see y'all next time, and, um, as, um, Brownie would put it, go a bye, you, go a bye, goodbye, you losers, because he doesn't like anybody. Okay, bye. Peace out. Bye.